The first thing we're going to do today is we're going to see if we can model how to convert a repeating decimal into a fraction. Now I'm going to start with a simple one here, 0 0.5 repeating. Uh, and the thing you want to get about this is the thing that makes them annoying for conversion is there's a repeating part. So I'm going to use an algebra trick uh, to make the repeating part go away. So I'm going to declare that x equals 0 0.5 repeating. And I'm going to put a 0 0.5 re up, repeating up here, but I'm actually going to make it a 5.5 repeating. Now 5.5 repeating is conveniently 10 times as big as 0.5 repeating. So over here, I'm going to make that a 10x. So 10 times x is going to be 10 times 0.5 repeating. So I'll put an equal sign here. Now, now I can subtract. I can subtract 5.5 repeating minus 0 0.5 repeating. This 0.5 repeating goes away, and I'm left with simply 5. Over here, I'll subtract as well, since 10x equals that and x equals that. 10x minus x, that's 10x minus 1x, so I'm left with 9x, and 9x will equal 5. Now, this is 9x's, which means this is 9 times too big. So I want to make it 9 times smaller. Do the opposite of multiplication, divide it by 9, and I have to do the same thing to the other side. The 9 becomes a 1, so now I'm down to just 1x, and x equals 5 over 9. The only other thing I need to check out is if I can reduce this fraction. Now, 5 and 9 do not share any common factors other than 1, so I'm good. And that is my answer.